guys, Miri Ginger here. Today I am going to show you my CD collection. If you haven't noticed, I've got my 90s hairdo all decked out. We're going to see what is in this case. Good news for people who love bad news by Modest Mouse. I don't know if I bought this one or if my husband bought this one, but either way, it's in my CD case. Now all of the Beck are going to be my husband's. Midnight Vultures by Beck. Okay, this one is definitely mine. I can take credit for this one. It's a movie soundtrack. It's Disturbing Behavior movie soundtrack. Now I got it for that one song. Okay, this one's mine too. The Cure. Him, Greatest Love Songs, Volume 666. Okay, another soundtrack to a movie. This one is Batman and Robin! The Smashing Pumpkins worked on this soundtrack, and that's why I have it. Smashing Pumpkins were my favorite band for an entire decade. So I had everything by Smashing Pumpkins. And this is another one of the hymn. It says 2005. 30 Seconds to Mars. Oh, The Darkness. Now this was just a throwback to the 80s because The Darkness is like hilariously 80s. Only the copyright is 2003, so you had The Darkness in 2003 bringing back the 80s. Gorillas, the 2001 one. Bauhaus Volume 1, and this is uh, Bauhaus's greatest hits from 1979 to 1983. Fountains of Wayne, Welcome Interstate Managers, This is Gravity. So it's the White Stripes from 2003. And this is Jimmy Eat World. That's the band and it's from 2001. And this one is my husband's. A Boy Named Goo, the Goo Goo Dolls. Now the Goo Goo Dolls is the band, A Boy Named Goo is the album. Oh, this is Radiohead. And this one I stole from my brother. <laughs> I did. I stole it from my brother. He was a DJ for a college radio station or something and he got like promotional use copies of things so that's what this is. Promotional use <laughs> copies of radio ahead. And here is another 30 seconds to Mars. One. All right, the best of Susie and the Banshees. That's mine. This is mine too. <laughs> King Missile Happy Hour. This is rocking 1992. I did not buy this in 92. I probably bought this in 97, 98. So I bought this one because Christina Ricci was on MTV and she was singing the Detachable Penis song and it's by King Missile. So of course you gotta hear the Detachable Penis song. So you go and you buy the whole album, which actually is really funny. Me, my sister, my dad always loved meatloaf growing up. So this is Hits Out of Hell. It was before his like resurgence in the, I wanna say 90s, he had his resurgence with like the objects in the rearview mirror, may it be closer. I'm not gonna finish that. Um, one that end. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. So it's not that album. This is the best of before that album. So it has things like um, Paradise by the Dashboard Light, Bad Out of Hell, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, that kind of stuff. <gasps> Another cure. This one is Disintegration. I have Violent Femmes, and this is Viva Wisconsin. This is the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs. Some Nine Inch Nails here. This is Halo 14. This is copyrighted 1999, and this is my husband's. But, you know, I am a fan of Nine Inch Nails, so I do not, I include that as part of mine. God's Good Urge, and this is by Porno for Pyros. And finally, we're getting into my Manson, my Marilyn Manson collection. 
This one is Antichrist Superstar, and it is the first Marilyn Manson album I ever bought. And my brother took me to buy it. <laughs> but this is my CD, and apparently my CD is very sticky. It is Taking Back Sunday, Tell All Your Friends. And this is from 2002. I was supposed to see Taking Back Sunday in concert with The Used, but then they postponed. And when they came back, when The Used came back, they came back not with Taking Back Sunday, but with that, oh, what was that band? I don't know, it was a band I did not like, and it was boring. Coheed and Cambria! Now The Used, they were excellent. I've got that somewhere in here. But, I don't know. If you like Coheed and Cambria, good for you. Alright, so I've got, starting with the Smashing Pumpkins, and I am going to do an honorable mention that I used to have the box set of The Airplane Flies High. I sold it on eBay. Anyway, so this is Smashing Pumpkins, and this is Adore from 1998. And this is Cat Stevens' Greatest Hits. Now I bought this because there's a little movie called Harold and Maude. And I loved it, I absolutely loved it, and that's how I fell in love with Cat Stevens, so I purchased The Greatest Hits, but it has nothing from the soundtrack, which is sad, but whatever, it's still a good CD. Anyway, here's Franz Ferdinand, this is from 2004, and I do like this album a lot. Oh, more Marilyn Manson. Now this one was critically acclaimed and also banned from Walmart. Walmart, here's looking at you banning this because you were so offended by the transgender appearance on the cover, which is so absolutely offensive that anybody would be offended by that. But you know, you also have people protesting the Barbie doll that is pregnant without a Ken doll. Maybe if they called her a Virgin Mary, then they would have allowed the pregnant Barbie doll. All right, here we go. We've got Amnesiac by Radiohead. <laughs> There's a mixtape in here that says MySpace Mix Volume 3. <laughs> That's not mine. Space Hog, The Odyssey is the name of the album. Here's more Beck. This is Beck Mutations, and like I said earlier, Beck is all of my husband's. Radiohead, it's OK Computer. Okay. Here's another Radiohead. This one is Pablo Honey. R.E.M. Out of Time. I don't think I've ever even listened to that. Kid A, and that's the name of the album. Better Than Ezra, Friction Baby. Tattoo, 200 kilometers in the wrong lane. I guess it's 200 kilometers per hour in the wrong lane. Train spotting soundtrack. Now that was definitely my husband's. Moth is mine. This is from 2002. It's the Provisions Fiction and Gear album. Okay, we also have another Taking Back Sunday, and this is Where You Want To Be. It's the single for Stay Together, and in the U.S. we have to call them the London Suede, because I guess there's another band here, and there is a copyright difference. I love London Suede. This is Naked. And this is from 1997. The single off of this was Man's Chinese. This one was a gift from, I believe, my brother. He didn't want it, so he gave it to me. That's fair. And this one is her 1994 album. I'm glad sellout is no longer a term used. <laughs> because when she had her big old pop album that came back out in like 2000s, I think? 
sometime in the 2000s, everybody, you know, was all about, oh, solo, because the 90s were all indie rock things. And you know what? Wish people success, people. Wish them success, not failure. Grow up. Okay, this one I regretted buying, but it is American Hi-Fi, and I was very sad when I got it. 2001, um, I didn't like it. I was disappointed, and I'm... And that's the way it used to be in, like, 2001 or whatever. You would buy the whole entire album for one song that you liked, and then you were stuck with an album you didn't like. Now, I love this song, and I only have the single for it, but it is Jill Sobel, and it is Supermodel. Now, you might remember that Katy Perry did a song called I Kissed a Girl. Well, before there was Katy Perry, there was a little-known artist called Jill Sobel, and she did the song called I Kissed a Girl, and it had a video and was released, and it's hilarious. You should go watch it because it's funny. And even the song is better than Katy Perry's, and I absolutely love Katy Perry. I am a huge fan. But Jill Sobel did it better and first when it comes to that type of song. <laughs> Orgy! Their debut album in 1998. Candy Ass, their follow-up album, Vapor Transmission 2000, and I believe at least the final album that I bought of Orgy was in 2004, and it is Punk Static Paranoia. No doubt, Tragic Kingdom, the, the only good no Doubt album. No, I don't know if that's the only good No Doubt album. It's just the only one I have. And Cake! Comfort Eagle! This one has short skirt long jacket on it. It's also one of those really fun comedic kind of albums. Now this I must have stolen from my sister. <laughs> the B-52s. Cosmic Thing. It's got Love Shack on it. Yes. <gasps> and Rome. This one I stole for my sister too. I must have. Now when you're a kid, you do end up stealing things from your siblings. You do. At least when you're the youngest. <laughs> or maybe they were gifts. But I don't think Nelson was a gift because this one has a track called Tracy's Song, and that is my sister's name, Tracy. Nelson, After the Rain, 1990. Wow, I thought it was 80s, but it's not. It's 1990. So yeah, Tracy, if you're missing the CD, I have it. Oasis, what's the story, Morning Glory? Tripping Daisy! I am an elastic firecracker. <gasps> More Fountains of Wayne. This is Utopia Parkway. And then this is The Used, and this is In Love and Death. Marilyn Manson, and this is Hollywood. In the shadow of the valley of death. Oh, I don't even know that I have this one, but this is the 95 Marilyn Manson Smells Like Children. Rob Zombie, I believe this is Greatest Hits. It's from 2003. I'm not, I'm pretty sure it's Greatest Hits. And here is more The London Suede. This album is Head Music. In 2004, Marilyn Manson did a Greatest Hits album, and it is Lest We Forget. I love that artwork. <laughs> it's so awesome. Spin Doctors, A Pocket Full of Kryptonite. This has to be 80s. Nope, 91. And Filter, title of 
record from 99. And I believe this is a self-titled debut from the used in 2002. And I did get to see the used in concert and there was no vomiting whatsoever on stage. They were amazing. I saw them in Albuquerque, New Mexico with my husband before we were married. Okay, so we saw Marilyn Manson for the Greatest Hits Tour in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And then in Denver, Colorado, we saw him for the Age of Grotesque Tour in Denver, Colorado. I've only been to like five concerts in my life, <laughs> two of which were Marilyn Manson. My Chemical Romance, now this is three cheers for Sweet Revenge, this is 2004, this is mine. Basically, if it's hard rock, it's mine. Pisces Iscariot, Smashing Pumpkins. Siamese Dream, Smashing Pumpkins. Machina, The Machines of God. By Smashing Pumpkins. This one I used to fall to sleep to at night at college. I just pop it on and then I'd fall. It would put me to sleep. Which is good, not like in a bad way. Honorable mention Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness by Smashing Pumpkins. I believe I had that on cassette tape. And then I've got Aqua Aquarium. I love this CD, it's fantastic. A Fiona Apple from 1996. And this is the other Marilyn Manson. I believe this is a Golden Age of Grotesque. Sparta. Wiretap Scars. And then this one is Nine Inch Nails with Teeth. AFI, and this is the album Sing for the Sorrow, which is not their first album, but it was kind of their breakout album. I know they've been around forever. The Queen of the Damned soundtrack. And that's it. That is my CD collection. Creativity is contagious.